Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. I'm just putting out this video, uh, this, like, little thing before we go. Uh, so I've been, I've played, like, an insane amount of this game, and, uh, I have a huge backlog for it, which means I can be a little bit picky-choosy, uh, which means certain runs that I did might not actually end up on YouTube. Uh, and unfortunately, because a lot of this is kind of all recorded in sequence, I might refer back to them, but, like, usually they're ones that, like, I died within, like, five levels or something like that. And it's just, like, a long litany of failures. And this this episode is going to be one of those. But so if it ever seems like there's missing episodes, there probably are. Because I'm trying to give you guys the good runs as opposed to all of the runs. Because I've got so many runs, I might as well just, you know, start, uh, start pulling the fun runs, the interesting ones, instead of the disappointing failures where I just run into Lagolin and he just destroys me as the silent over and over and over again. You guys should get it by this point. Uh, so I guess with that, I hope you enjoy. Alright. Well, no reason to slow down here. This I've been getting uh, just slammed the last couple runs. Have we have we even won yet today? We've gotten a lot of like midway runs that don't actually uh that don't actually get anywhere. I guess that's fine. Um Like, the point of a roguelike is it is meant to be hard. It's meant to punish you for playing stupid. And it's meant to, uh... It's not meant to just be, like, an easy breeze. Yeah, I've not gotten the heart yet. I've been going for, what, two... Two hours and twenty minutes? Ouch. Well, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I like seeing red. Oh, jeez, I like all three of these. Seeing red is, uh, free point... Free, uh, free point of energy whenever I want it. The only problem is draw limits. Thunderclap hits all enemies and does vulnerable on them, which is good. Um, I think let's go. En let's go energy. I I'd really like a corruption, uh, dead stick run. We get double tap. I'll take double tap. Okay. Let's save seeing red because it's pointless here. Let's see. Double tap, double bash. Which oh yeah, that's that's a good one. I take some damage, but this is fine. Okay. So I took a short break in there to go to the bathroom. I came back with some Advil for a headache, and people are shaming me for taking drugs. Look, drugs are okay if you know what you're doing. No, no, no. True Grit War Cry. Or Perfected Strike. No, let's just skip a lot of this. All of them are kind of good. But not right now. Uh... Let's just keep losing the max HP. All right, we are now the silent. Don't question it. All right. Uh, remove a card from my deck already. Do I do it? Is this a good idea? Nope. Fuck it. As long as I'm staying away from mid bosses, we're okay. So I can upgrade seeing red. I could upgrade double tap. Or I could upgrade Bash. Or I could upgrade one of the blocks. None of this is a good idea. All of this is bad. Let's do double tap. Because I could do double tap and a double strike. Okay. So, let's... Let's do seeing red. Double tap. Double strike. Shame it just doesn't double anything. But yeah, upgraded double tap. Uh, it'd be great if I could uh, get the thing that actually doubles up the effects of my skills, too. That would be really funny. So let's just do these two. Try and cut my damage down a little bit. Michelle heating something up in the microwave. How did you know? 
Yeah, unfortunately, I'm in the same room as the kitchen. I am in a one-bedroom apartment, and we've got kind of one of those uh, mixed kitchen deals. Uh, which generally is perfectly fine. Uh, I should probably just block. I'm not going to be able to kill him. I should have actually thought about that, honestly. Let's see. I'll double tap, double bash, which actually is kind of sort of not really useful here, but that's fine. All right, clothesline, no, let's go flex. Um, yeah, eventually I'd like to move into a two-bedroom apartment. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Just cut the damage there. This guy, this guy hurts really bad. Um, but yeah, I, I, eventually I'd like to move into, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, flex, double tap, strike, strike. And he's not switching yet, which is really helpful. Okay, this is cool. Cross classes, pass level three, pick half cards, either start getting advanced class. It'd be interesting if you could actually get uh, combo classes in this one, uh, in this game. It'd be neat if there was like a vendor that would uh, cross class. I guess I didn't need to do seeing red after, the, after all. Well, that's fine. It would just be cool if occasionally you could pull, uh, for like maybe 300 gold or something, you could pull a card from one of the other, uh, one of the other sets. Alright, let's do block, block, flex, and I'm just gonna hit this guy. Unfortunately, they took my strength down pretty hard. Double tap used to be triple. That's hilarious. I feel kind of bad for never using it, but I never really got the chance. All right, well, double tap it is. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I really like double tap now. I can't really believe I never really used it before. I must have unlocked it kind of recently, though. That's part of it. All right, flex, strike, and he's dead. But yeah, doubling double tap was a good idea. Uh, Let's go spot weakness. And we want to cut in here. Okay, regal pillow. Which is actually kind of helpful. Let's check the map. So... We might have a mid-boss in the, in the way. However, I could also smith up... Spot weakness? No, smithing up spot weakness really doesn't change that much. Isn't double tap one of the starting cards? No, it's not. Uh, oh, you mean, you mean like starting decks. I guess I've had it, I've just never bothered with it. I don't know. Lazy? I guess I don't find it very often. Maybe that's it. I mean, I could heal for all my HP back. Or I could smith a card. I mean, I feel like uh, Spot Weakness. Seeing red can give you two free if upgraded. The one problem is uh, seeing seeing red is single use. Yeah, let's upgrade bash. Yeah, maybe I just almost never found it. All right, but we do want to go to the shop. Slime goop. Let's lose that 11 HP, which suddenly makes this real worrying. Well, it wasn't a mid-boss. Oi. Okay. Let's do... I'd like to do defense. Uh, seems like a silly place to use this. So we could do... I could almost kill one of these. Let's do defend. And then I can just bash one of them. I'll just bash one of them. Alright, spot weakness. Defend, defend. And the extra damage from strike wouldn't actually change this. I'm trying to mitigate that damage. I'm really afraid of running into a mid-boss. 
after the, uh, after this. Uh, what kind of hand is this? What am I gonna do? Flex? Sure, done. Great. I just want to kill one of these guys, but they're not facilitating that. Alright, well, let's do seeing red. Double tap. Strike. Strike. We'll be fine. Bash, and he's dead. Okay. Oh, reach in potion, thank you. And armaments! Equally thank you. Okay, so what do we got? Bottled lightning, which would be absurd. Transmutation, equally good. Bandage up would be nice. Uh, let's check my deck. I think... I think I'm gonna go... Bottled lightning with armaments would be amazing. Tori Gate is helpful. I just really like the idea of always starting with armament. Especially because I can upgrade armament into armament plus. Exhume plus seeing red. That's the other thing. We could get dark embrace and exhume. Oh, no, except for exhume only works once. Yeah, let's go Bottled Lightning. Armaments. And you know what? I could get Bandage up. Heal for every battle? Hell yeah. That'll help. And I already got rid of the, the card that we didn't want. Yeah. Proceed. Please don't be a mid-boss. Motherfuck. Alright. Double tap, bash, strike. Okay, I've already gotten him half down. I'll take the extra damage, but I can kill him on the next one. Okay. As long as I don't draw nothing but block cards, we'll be fine. You shit. That was really close. Oh, hey, Mango. All right, and we go up to 67 HP. This works out. Hey, we're back above maxim uh, maximum starting HP. All right, uh, well, that got worrying. Armaments, fire breathing? No, that's not really worth it. Armaments? Defend? Sure, why not? Fire breathing. Flex? Defend. Doesn't really help me that much. Fire breathing will be nice, though. That was dirty. This game likes to do that to me. The round where I just need to attack once. I can't. Alright, well, let's do seeing red. Defend. Double tap. Double bash. Uh, I'm still gonna take... 31 damage on this turn. Fuck. That hurts. Okay. Spot weakness. Bandage up. Defend. And strike. Wait, if you double tap for fire breathing, will it deal damage twice? Unfortunately, fire breathing does not work that way. Sadly. Alright, let's do... Armaments, 
spot weakness. Buff spot weakness. Double tap is pointless. Defend more, and I guess I'll just flex again because, mmm, sexy muscles. At least my defense is good. Or not my defense, my my strength's going up. Unfortunately, he's getting he's gonna get his his crazy combo. But I guess I do a ton of damage, so I guess it's not so bad. A double tap plays two cards. Double tap plays your next two attacks. It does not play two cards. Ah. Well, at least my strength is getting up. Bandage is a really poor investment when I routinely aren't having enough block. Uh, you're right, but I'd still rather have it than nothing. All right, so let's just do defend, defend. He's already pretty weak. Unfortunately, still going to take four damage here. That's correct, so fire breathing triggers twice. Fire breathing is not an attack, it's a power. Okay, so let's do armaments. Now I can upgrade flex. Let's upgrade flex. Double tap. So yeah, double double tap would not trigger. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I might not actually be able to beat beat this. He's gonna hit me for thirty. No, he's gonna hit me for twelve. Ugh, burn plus. Two of those, and I'm dead. Done for. Okay. Spot weakness. Block. Strike. We have to kill him at the... Uh, we have to do next one. Bash. Strike. Skin of my teeth. But no. Once again, to repeat... Uh, the... The double strike will not help. Um, double tap will not help fire breathing. It's not a it's not a card I'm using. Oh, I see. You mean it will double up the amount of uh, attacks from fire breathing? I thought you were saying you would double up the uh, the uh, the card itself. That was really close. I like the idea of Reaper because uh, that would be really good. Otherwise, we could have Immolate to manage my hand. Reaper is good though. Oh, but it can only be used once. Reaper would be nice. I'm going to go Immolate. Um, Reaper plus Double Tap. You, you guys are correct on that one. But I think I'm going to go Gambling. Alright, Pain. I got to get rid of Pain. But we get Matryoshka, Charon's Ashes, and Letter Opener. I'll take them. Okay. So we got a shop. Here. What's the best mystery machine I'm looking at? The right side is garbage, the left side is really good. Alright, so let's go this way. We'll have a shop, I can start getting rid, rid of some things. Yeah, Tail has saved me before. Yeah. I gotta get rid of pain. But yeah, the main thing is, uh, Reaper is a... Reaper is a, a single use. And Immolate lets me get rid of curses and wounds and all sorts of stuff. Okay, so yeah, Charon's Ashes, whenever you exhaust a card, deal damage to all enemies. Letter Opener, three skills in a single turn, five damage to all enemies. And Matryoshka really helps. Okay, so let's do Immolate, get rid of Clumsy. Which triggers Charon's Ashes, which is really satisfying. Fire Breathing. Spot Weakness, even though it doesn't do anything, we didn't need Seeing Red. It would be nice if Double Tap just triggered for your next two attacks. I almost kind of pref would prefer that. This is why I wanted Bandage. Flex. Bash. 
And there's no point in blocking. Nice part is, every time the Dazed goes away, uh, he also takes 3 damage. So this actually kind of works out really well. Can you take the exhaust effect away from a card? No, only with Bent Spoon. Well, I guess I'll block it. Uh... Probably should have just used Seeing Red to, to trigger the effect, honestly. Oh well, this hurts. Let's do Immolate, get rid of Pain, and then Bash. There we go. Not great, but that guy usually kind of sucks. Body Slam would be interesting, but honestly, this is probably one of the worst runs for it. That said, it's a free hit. The hemokinesis is not worth it. Main thing is I'm not doing a defense. What the hell kind of deck am I even looking at here? Yeah, hemokinesis is not worth it. The main thing I'm stuck between is would it be worth it for me to go um, with body slam? Because we could double tap body slam into something ridiculous. Yeah, let's go Body Slam. Well, I can get Jaxed. Yeah, some of these would be nice. But I gotta get, I gotta get rid of Pain. Once Pain's out of here, I have options. Don't have enough money for any of these things. Art of War. Oh, it's bad. And the ornamental fan is an interesting I idea. I've needed block in the past. My main hope is I can uh, start getting stuff like Iron Wave and Armaments. But not right now. Okay, so we want to go up here? Ugh. This is a risky set of circumstances. There's not a single campfire along the way here. Okay. Armaments. On to... It seems like almost a good idea to do armaments on defend. I'll just do spot weakness off one of these guys. Immolate's useless here. Oh, hey, letter, letter, bleh, letter opener. Awesome. Oh, imagine if I had tough scales. We'd just demolish these guys. Or not uh, tough scales, The whatever the scales moves are. Oh, boy. Hi. Uh, this is things. All right. So let's start with fire breathing for each attack played. Okay, so we want to body slam that guy, which is free. Actually, I should have body slammed afterwards. And let's do seeing red. Get that out of there. It's kind of nice. I was really hoping... Okay, so it's... Dealt attack damage and... Okay, so fire breathing does not knock these guys down. That sucks. Well... So we have Jax. And Clumsy will burn them for some more. This is just awkward. But I do like Charon's Ashes. It is... Oh god, a Charon's Ashes plus a Dead Stick build would be absurdly good. Okay, True Grit. I mean, we could go Corruption. But that's scary, whereas True Grit I can at least plan, or I could do Shrug It Off. I, it's really sh True Grit or Shrug It Off, which do I want to go with? 
Unfortunately, my my deck is really small. So, True Grit is scary. Shrug it off would help. Yeah, let's go shrug it off. Yeah, deck is too small. It'd be suicide. Yeah, we haven't been, um... Drawing a whole lot here, have we? Alright, well, let's start with armaments. I'm just gonna double up strike. Double tap. And there we go. It's weird how small my deck is. I guess I've been rolling the mystery machine too much and we haven't been drawing a th single thing. But yeah, Dead Branch, Charon's Ashes, and Corruption would be ridiculously overpowered. I would like to do that run someday. Okay. Uh, so let's do Jax. Bandage up. Which kind of offsets it. And I might as well defend, seeing as I've taken some damage here. Blech. Seeing red. Defend. You know, the further I get into this, the realize this is a kind of awful run. It's kind of... I mean, it's probably by, base, uh, by grace of relics. They're even still managing to do this. Let's do Shrug it off. We need the defense. Spot weakness. Another defend. Immolate. I can exhaust a card. Alright. Get out of here, body slam. You're worthless. Ah. Uh. Okay. It's gonna hit me for seven. Um, I could do spot weakness for some extra. Ah, jeez, Sneko is just wreckoing me. I guess I'll just block. Usually, it kind of sets my my prices down. This time, it's uh not. Why? Uh. Okay, that's a little bit better. If I upgrade the strike, we might be able to kill him. Nope. We'll kill him on the next round or something. Yeah, we had a really easy confusion run earlier, which is why I'm so confused. Well, I guess this isn't it. Alright, uh, shrug it off. We need more defense. Combust is scary. Shit, the next thing it really is a mid-boss. Going from Sneko to mid- Ah, oh, Not these assholes. Alright. Okay. Well, if I do armaments to fire breathing, fire breathing costs nothing. Which means I can use fire breathing, bash, Oh, I miscalculated. Well, gonna body slam him. I'm boned. Just be glad it's not three cultists. I might actually have an easier time against three cultists. Yeah, this run got some hella relics, but we do not have any moves that are, like, worth anything. I mean, look at this. This is pure butts. And I die. Still haven't won. Ah! Okay. I think I'm just going to alternate. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, new unlocks. Okay, we have Carnage, Ethereal. This card's in your hand at the end of turn. It's exhausted. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, that's where Entrench went. And Ghostly Armor. I was wondering where these two cards had gone. So, um, I'd gotten these before. But I guess they were too overpowered. So they got removed from the deck. So Carnage is interesting, but mostly useless. Ghostly armor, armor is really helpful. Entrench is absurd. And now we have no more unlocks. I am going to try the silent again. Do we get a buff? We do. Chain of Curse and a Rare Relic. We get Jiraiya. Ooh. 
But we also get pain. Ooh. Oh, sorry, Gearia. Okay, so if I go this way, we end up with one hell of a mystery machine, but it's kind of scary to fight a mid-boss that early. We go this way, we fight a bunch of random enemies. Which has a better end mystery machine? Whatever this path is, which is any path. This is scary as shit. Okay, let's play it a little bit safer. Let's do mystery train straight to the shop. I oh pain sucks. Yeah, focusing on campfires for the plus strength would be helpful. Uh yeah. We'll see when I get here. The main thing is um yeah, actually we could go here and around. Okay, we'll do that. Main problem is, uh, campfires are kind of hard to get to. I guess I could have done mystery... N mm. Eh. Yeah, the extra strength is helpful. We want to do a shiv run on this one if we can. This is pain. But yeah, unfortunately, I think part of it is my draw pile is getting kind of large, and then I'm also... Uh, generally going pure mystery machine here, which means my deck stays small, which is good and also really bad. Acrobatics could be good, but it could be bad. Oh, no poison run. Problem is I've done a lot of poison runs. Shiv runs feel like they have a, a lot, um, a lot of potential. Riddle with holes, three damage five times. Well, that's 15 damage. Let's get riddle with holes. Because I might be able to do some interesting stuff with that. Purify. Remove a card from my deck. Goodbye, pain. Alright, that helps. A lot. Okay. We now have Dreamcatcher and Regret. Regret isn't so bad. The starting price for card removal is 75, so I don't have enough money for that. Now we could do... We want to go here. Let's just get that strength bonus. Yeah, let's go left for campfire instead of the shop. Alright, so let's do riddled with holes. Yeah, that'll, that'll help, especially if I increase my, my strength. And oh, if if we increase my strength, Riddle with Holes will be really good. Because that'll make every single time the damage goes up by 5. So by the end of it, it'll do, I mean, just straight up 30 damage. That's pretty good. Especially if we can get it with uh, Venomology. Oh, shoot. Ah, eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. We take the same amount of damage, I was not counting my, uh, my energy. Riddle with holes! Yeah! A shift run feels like it wants choke. Problem is, choke is expensive. Fletchets is pretty good. Caltrops is kind of good. Let's go Fletch it. So, uh, this character tends to have a whole bunch of blocks. Especially if I, I get Fletch it's on the first draw. Not much satisfies Caltrops versus Birds. Oh, that is a good point. Though... Let's just get rid of the defend. Fletch just ain't bad. Uh, yeah, you're right about that. That would be that would be amazing. They would just they would destroy themselves. 
Okay, so let's do Riddled with Holes. And then Survivor to get rid of Regret. Yeah, I'll have to... I'll have to see what else we can do. With these combos. Ugh. Alright, let's just do the double defend. He'll die on the next turn. Just that weakened is rough early on. But I'm trying very hard to avoid taking damage. Fletchets. Which, I mean, really doesn't do a whole lot of damage yet. But it will. It could. Oh. I think I should go with Blur. Maybe. Blur is really good. Yeah, Blur will save my ass. St Storm... I tried it. It would work better if I already had a bunch of shivs. Because then I could do some... Or I was like focusing really hard on a draw deck. But I'm not, so it's scary. Yeah, let's let's just uh let's just bum those uh bonfires. Skip the mystery machine for a little while. Okay. Let's riddle with holes this guy. Insta give him. Well that works. That works that works great. Stupid porn bots. Okay. We have Fletch It, which is only going to do one. Strike, which is going to kill this guy. And this guy's doing something. Well, I'll Fletch It, which really doesn't do much. Oh, that's interesting. The porn bot almost immediately got banned from Twitch. That's a new one. Okay, uh, Calculated Gamble is kind of useful. Quick Slash is real good. Calculated Gamble is great when my entire hand is garbage. Quick Slash gets me more. Hmm. Let's go calculate a gamble. It'll maybe save me from some of those awful setups. Okay, I have one skill in my hand. Oh, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna take some damage here, aren't I? I could riddle with whole something. And then blur. We could do 20 damage. Let's go murder the fungi beast. Murder the fungi beast. Honestly, let's just blow the block potion. Because I was going to take a ton of damage otherwise. What are you talking about? Uh, as far as the porn bot goes, uh, porn bots show up on my Twitch fairly frequently and it sucks. I kind of hate them. They're like, lol, what the fuck? And it's just like some lady twerking on camera. And it's like, come on. You guys are better than this. Well, maybe you're not. I don't know. Oh, we don't know what he's doing. Let's see what we get. Neutralize. There we go. And I guess it defends. Eh. Just kind of waiting for this one. But yeah, it's always LOL WTF. I have no idea why. It's like the laziest bot ever. It's, it's probably some kind of script. Uh. That... All of these, like, you know, lazy twerk accounts just use. It's like, download the uh, advertising bot. Done. It's awful. Okay. Backflip is good. Noxious Fumes is also good. It almost feels better to go with Backflip.
Eviscerate is just not useful. Not just fumes. Yeah, I don't have any poison cards. The thing is... Noxious Fumes is a really, uh, really hard counter. Noxious Fumes is a hard counter against those armored enemies that always, uh, kick my shit. Also, we just got bird-faced, Urn. Alright, that was the right decision. Hmm. Yeah, we probably want to go this way. I'm going to keep doing this. We're getting a fair amount of kind of good and useful little things. I really hate regret. I'll kill this guy. It's better than trying to pop a block. Which, oh, hits me with weakness. Okay, that sucks. Okay. Uh, so Fletchets is only going to work once. Let's neutralize. Noxious Poison. Strike. And just defend. Yeah, Noxious, Noxious Fumes will be really helpful against those guys that have like the 40-something freaking defense. Those suck. So I could do Calculated... Uh, we'll do the Strike and then a Calculated Gamble. There's no point in attacking him right now. Or, no point in defending right now. Okay. Dagger throw, well laid, well laid plans. I think you're, you should actually try the mid-bosses. The reason why I don't want to do the mid-bosses... No, we're not going to do the mid-bosses. We might run into another one. Uh, actually, we might run into another one here. You know, I'm going to play it safe. We'll heal. Uh, right, I've got this, which lets me do bullet time. Okay. Well, let's get rid of regret. Well-laid plans. Go with options. And I'm going to go with the slaver, because he hits harder. We do have a fire potion I can pop. I'm hoping we get bullet time on the next round. Because that'd be amazing. We did not. But that doesn't necessarily mean we can't get it. None of these are amazing. Calculated gamble. There it is. Alright, noxious flames. Fletchets. Strike. Defend, defend, and defend. Unfortunately, we got hit by Lick and some other things. Pil Pyramid wor Relic works really well with uh, Bullet Time. Yeah, that is a very good point. If it shows up, I'm absolutely grabbing it. If it doesn't, I don't know. Okay, so let's do Riddle with Holes. Just three damage. Oh, it's because I'm weakened. Um, fuck. This guy hurts. Three blocker. Oh, this is painful. Well, I could just kill him with the poison. Uh, fire potion. This seems wasteful, but it saves me from taking a lot of damage. One match, I should let the viewers choose everything. I mean, you guys have, like, a crazy amount of influence to begin with. So. I'm gonna be totally honest here. The whole, like, faux Twitch integration thing is already existent. It's pronounced Flechettes. Huh. Rightio. Well, I could use this, but it's not going to do me any good, is it? Well, I got three skills. Let's just Fleche. Fleche? Him to death. And let's do Dodge and Roll. Alright, Cursed Doubt. For money. P 
peace pipe. Yes. Okay. So I could get the extra strength, which would be nice. But let's actually, let's toke up and get rid of... So doubt isn't bad. Let's get rid of regret. I'm really just going to be... Oh, I... Okay, this guy hurts. Let's... Well, hmm. I could him for 25 damage, or I could calculate a gamble. Let's calculate a gamble and cross our fingers that we get bullet time. It was worth it. It'll do slightly... We'll do slightly less damage. We really need that bonus energy somewhere along the way here. <laughs> the moment I toke up, everybody just gets crazy. Okay. This sucks. This guy sucks. I should really drink this. I should also really drink this. What do we get? Well laid plans. At the end of your turn, gain one week. Huh. We could do... I mean, I like the idea of well laid plans. We could do... No. We'll do dodge and roll, defend, blur. This guy's a... This guy hits hard this turn. Riddle with holes mode shift. He had too much HP uh, for that one. Oh, you know what? I should have done the draw potion on the on the first round. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's do calculated gamble. Neutralize, strike. Flicky. And gain more weak. Yeah, unfortunately my draw pile sucks. So we're going to be weak more often than not. Luckily, we do have Noxious Fumes already rolling. So that helps. Okay. Uh, Riddle with Holes is a really, really bad idea right now. So let's do Survivor. Get rid of Strike. Well laid plans, defend. I'll hold on to that Riddle with Holes. Oh, am I stupid. I am stupid. Let's see if I can do this. So let's block, hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again. Fuck it. It didn't mode change him. He only mode changes... Alright. Well, that wasn't worth it. I'm probably gonna die. It was worth a shot. Well, I could do Riddle with Holes. See if I can force another mode change on him. If I'm not, I'm gonna die anyway. Might have been able to defend that. Oh well. Nope, we got we got the mode change. Yes, thank you, Poison. I can't believe that worked. Alright, uh... Defend. Survivor. Get rid of Flee. And we'll weaken him down. He's gonna hit me for six. So I can strike him. Okay. I can't believe this shit worked. Uh Jeez, I'll just block it. Okay. Probably gonna have to force a... That's 20 damage. Nope. It was worth a shot. 